Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ratings. Now, if you guys know, 2K has already laid out their schedule coming in like the next like what? 6 days. So, everything up until now has been screenshots of players, uh rating drops of rookies, and now they just dropped the top 10 players in NBA 2K24 rating. So, we're going to talk about that, and we're also going to talk about what that means for people like us people that play my career people that play park people that play rec stage pro-am will it even matter to us let's talk about it King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. so first things first let's go ahead and hop into the ratings let's talk about them for a moment and i'm gonna basically give you guys my thoughts on what the ratings should have been for some of the players but also let me know what you guys think in the comment section also for all of my people that play my career with you knowing these ratings in a few moments let me know what teams you would go to in order to you know win a championship in my career without cheesing okay without cheesing just playing regular not not abusing the cp regular okay let me know man all right so check this out first and foremost we got devin booker in nba 2k24 with a 94 overall rating now to be honest from my point of view devin booker and them didn't make it you know all the way to the end but i think that he should have been at least a 95 i mean he's coming off a cover athlete i mean 94 overall is really really good but I'm going to be honest, when you scroll down and you look at Jimmy Butler, you say there's no way Jimmy Butler is much better than Devin Booker. Offensively, defensively for sure, but offensively no freaking way. But some people would also say that Jimmy Butler is more athletic, more defensive, can shoot pretty okay, can get to the bucket. And he's, of course, taller than him. So when we talk about ratings, right, we got two players here that are just one rating away from each other. But one of, his, one of them is a defensive powerhouse and one of them is an offensive powerhouse. So I just want to know what you guys think, you know, NBA 2K24 is going to play like as far as defense versus offense. You know what I'm saying? Because that's always the huge argument. It's like, yo, don't, don't nerf offense, buff defense. Oh, we should nerf offense leave defense where it's at like that's always like huge arguments in the community and stuff like that now I'll, I'll let you guys know where i stand on the offensive and defense thing at the end of the video but let's go ahead and keep talking about these ratings right now um we have jason tatum at a 95 overall i'm not gonna lie i don't know who said what to him when he was playing my sixers in the playoffs i don't know who who antagonized them, who talked trash, whoever it was, I am pissed off at you forever. This dude went completely off against us in the playoffs for uh the last two games. But 95 overall, um, a lot of people think that Luca should be at least a 97 overall. Now, granted, Luca has done amazing things, especially at his position, his height. So I think he should be about a 96 overall, not 97, because, you know, once you start talking anything above a 96, you start talking MVP championship caliber player. You know what I'm saying? That, because that's what 2K going to do. It's a sl that sliding scale from 95 to, to you know, 99. Nobody, nobody making it to that 99 for overall. But when you start talking about 95 to 99, it's really not too crazy. Like a lot of the top players are going to be within that range, but it's not going to be like stupid, uh, a crazy dif difference. You know what I'm saying? So I think Luca should have been like a 96. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, Sabrina 90 overall granted. You know what I'm saying I don't really watch the WNBA too much, but when I do catch it, I'm always catching clips of her on IG. Cause I follow the WNBA page. They be going absolutely crazy. So I think, I think a 90 overall cool. What y'all think? I mean, Remember, when we talk about, like, overalls, right, we talk about everything. So, like, we talk about the athleticism, you know, the slash and the shooting, the passing and ball handling, which should be either passing and and just ball handling separated. I, you know, I really hate that. And we talk about defensive and rebounding. Defensive should be on its own and rebounding should be on its own. They should be more categories. But that's just my, 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 my nerve brain going a mile a minute. But that's what we talk about. So, 90 overall, of course... Not crazy athletic, crazy shooter. 
crazy shooter. I mean, I know what y'all saw, what she did in that three point shootout. Just saying, just saying, just saying. All right, now, Giannis, 96 overall. Remember, we have Jimmy Butler at a 95 and Devin Booker at a 94. Now, when we talk about offensive powerhouses, of course, Giannis, you can't stop him in the paint no matter what. Can shoot, but as far as the defensive powerhouse, he's that as well. And his athleticism is through the roof. So when we talk about the overalls, y'all got to remember when he tweaking, you know, ratings and stuff like that and attributes and stuff, they're going to give Giannis a 96. He's, he's an athletic and he plays both sides of the ball. So you feel what I'm saying? Like you, you got to give him that 96. You know what I mean? Now, Kevin Durant, complete offensive powerhouse. Slim Reaper, we already know. But defensively, he's eh, kind of like a liability, but his offensive stats are just so good that it is going to give him a 96. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he has shooting, um, pretty okay passing, uh, definitely, you know, fades, uh, a little bit of athleticism. I mean, he's tall, you know what I'm saying? But most of it is like definitely high rating shooting, um, high uh, mid ranges, Probably, you know, awareness and stuff like that on the offensive end, like as far as his attribute goes, defensive and stuff like that, and not so much. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yo, we see Giannis that can't shoot and he got a 96. But then you see somebody like Kevin Durant that don't got crazy defense and got a 96. So, you know, it's always those people out there that be like, yo, what are these ratings? Why are they even rated like this? It don't make no sense. It's not basketball. You know, people argue like that about that, too. Now, let's talk about Steph Curry for a moment. 96 overall. Best PG in the game, right? Best PG in the game because, uh, let's see, Luka is only 95. And, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about those other ratings in a minute. But best PG in the game, 96 overall. What y'all think? Valid. Should Steph be 97? Should it be a 95? I think 96 is the sweet spot. One of the best shooters in the game can drive to the rack finish um play a pretty good you know how should i say team unit defense you know what i'm saying athleticism i mean to run around all them screens the way he does he has to have crazy acceleration pretty okay speed but as far as strength and all that i don't think so you know what i'm saying like that as far as that leaping ability and all that like no finishing no but he's athletic you know what i'm saying so they have to give him you know high ratings as far as that plus the ball handle and shit he got that ball handle. You you cannot you cannot get away from that. That ball handle is right there. His ball handle probably crazy. So 96, I, I believe it. LeBron James. Do I need to see anything else? Do I need to see anything else? Best point forward to ever play the game. I mean, some people would even say he's the best player to ever play the game. I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm still an MJ fan shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but what I'm saying is it's LeBron James. 96, valid, right? Some people will say, oh, he should be a 99. It's LeBron James. So, and some people will say, oh, he's on his way out. He, he's not the same as he used to be. This motherfucker's in year, like, what, 21? <laughs> and still don't, he, he's the best player. I, I Like, at some point, I'm going to have to realize that he's the, ble the best player to ever play the game. I'm just going to have, and, and it's because not only him taking care of his body, him having the same statistics from like year one up, up until year 21. It's like, shit, you really can't or like arguments that you have with people about other people. I mean, you know, it is about titles and all of that stuff, too. But statistics, accolades, shit like that. I mean, it matters, too. I mean, yeah, like, you know, people call Allen Iverson one of the best shooting guards to ever play the game. I mean, shooting guard, point guard, you know, that SG slash PG. But then. He ain't got no ring, and it's my one of my favorite players of all time. And it's like, I'm not gonna cry though. Now, Embiid, 96 overall. Let's let's talk about this, right? 96 overall, right? I would say he is the best power forward on this list. I mean, some people rank him at center. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, like Embiid is a center, but I mean. He can play power forward too. I mean, he's more of a power forward. He, he shouldn't be just down low banging with people. He should leave that up to somebody else that can bang down low, even though he's a defensive presence. But I would understand that he would get cooked by other power forwards in the league, saying as though a lot of power forwards on a smaller side. So I'll give him that center position. Second best center in the game. 
second best center in the game at 96 overall and a reigning MVP. Hey, I mean, my, my six is getting these MVP awards for, I mean, we need a ring. We need, we really, 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 really need a ring. Okay. Now, Booyah, best person, player, center in NBA 2K24 at a 98 overall, current champ, former MVP, the Joker. I can't be mad at this rating. I can't be a hater. Um, in all honesty, if I'm being real, athleticism aside, Jokic has everything high, high, high rating. He has everything else across the board high rating as far as ball handling, passing. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all putting this shit together. I, I wish it was separated. But ball handling, passing, defensive and rebounding, uh, shooting, and... I guess you could call it slashing or finishing, but, you know, more closer to the rim. Not too much crazy driving, but everything standing, everything in the post, that's all him. I, I wouldn't have been mad at a 99 overall. I wouldn't have been mad. Former MVP, current champ, he did this shit for the Nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Him and Murray. Like, I wouldn't be mad at all if he was a 99 overall. And you know what? In all honesty, chat, I think he should be a 99 overall because... He did it. He f he fucking did it. Like, you know how many people hit that proverbial wall of constantly getting MVPs, constantly getting accolades, scoring titles, all of these things, but can never finish the job? He did it. He finished the fucking job. Congratulations to him. Now, let's talk about what I really think about ratings because I am a my career player. Now, when it comes to my career, I've I've chosen the Sixers year after year for the last few years as far as my, my career journey. Um, and I've, you know, stuck with them, you know, through it all. But I think this year I'll actually let the game kind of choose or, you know, let my fans kind of choose where I start out at and see if I can make some big blockbuster moves because I'm going to be making my career videos this year. So I'm coming back to the fold, making my career to content. And I don't want to just go to the Sixers, only play for the Sixers, fucking Hall of Fame with the Sixers. I want to go through trials and tribulations as well. You know what I'm saying? It would be nice to go to the Sixers, try to figure out my starting, you know, spot and stuff like that. But, you know, with the rumblings of James Harden leaving, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if I was a point guard or shooting guard right now? I'm just, I'm just saying it would be nice. But I've also been thinking about creating a lock for NBA 2K24. But we'll talk about that with the, you know, no money spent series that I'll be doing as well on YouTube. I will be doing a series where I won't spend any money on VC for that build. Whatever build I create to get to 99, I'm going to see how much it costs to get that build up to 99. And I will grind out that much VC. It's going to be a long journey. I want to see what it's really like not to spend money on VC. I really, really do. And we'll see where we go from there. Now, back to what I was saying about ratings. The biggest problem with me and, you know, player ratings and, you know, stuff like that when it drops is it's cool news because you get to see what players are going to look like in NBA 2K24, but they going to sell me down a river. They will sell the hell out of me once I get on their teams in my career, whether I'm playing on rookie, pro, all-star, superstar, Hall of Fame, it won't matter. My teammates, they're meant to sell. They have Walmart vests on. They all are employees of the month. So all of them are just trying their best to sell me so that they can get the next award for the next month. That's just how it is in 2K. Now, the biggest thing for me is for NBA 2K24, I pray that I do not get double teamed after I score 8 to 12 points in a game of my career. That's huge for me. That's the real reason that I don't play my career anymore. The second reason is... I was fucking tired of doing quests before I could play a game. That was like the, the craziest thing for me. But over the last three years, it's been known that whenever iPod King Carter brings that ball up after scoring eight straight points, they double team me every single play and it gets boring fast because other teammates have to score before they're double teamed. And I just be either throwing, a, you know, out of bounds passes not caring, trying to force my way in against two people. And 
it gets boring trying to cheese the computer every time you want to score. I wanted to just play basketball and be in the flow of things. And having to play off ball for three quarters just because you scored eight points is crazy to me. And I'm the point guard, the main ball handler. It was wild. So, you know, the quest thing, 2K promise. They like like I told you guys in my last video, they said that they're focusing on basketball. You know what I mean? Shah said that in the little commercial drum or the real or whatever you want to call it. I'm praying to God that that's the truth because them quests, bro, literally um, right now I'm working with my uh, thumbnail designer to make me um, something special that I want to put on my Twitter page. So make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Um, and the crazy thing is I sent him the screenshot, right? But before I was able to send him a screenshot of my mob player, I had to do three quests. I had to go to three different destinations, all 400 meters apart before I could play my next game in order to get him the screenshot that I needed for my picture. Blasphemy. So I'm hoping that 2K fixes that. And I don't have anything else to say. Um, I love stitching on jerseys. Do, do you guys want to, y'all want to review some stitching? We, we could, you know what? Let's review some fucking stitching. Let's do it. All right, guys. Um, No, in all seriousness, I know I be trolling y'all. And I know that some of y'all be laughing at this content. And some of y'all are just weird and be thinking I be real serious about shit. But look at this stitching, bro. Like, I, I, I promise you on everything I love, look at the detail at the collar, bro. Like, on the level of, like, bro, you y'all don't understand. Look at the stitching on the PayPal logo. It's you can you can tell. Look at this. Look look at this. Hold on. Can I can I look look. Hold on. No no. Go back. Go go all the way back. Yeah. Give me give me give me max zoom. I need max zoom. I need max zoom, bro. Give me give me give me max zoom. Do you see this? Hold up. Four hundred percent. I need yeah five hundred percent. Give me five hundred percent. Look at this, bro. Look no no no. We need to open this image in a new tab, bro. Nah, bro. Hold on, bro. Nah, I got show I got show y'all greatness, bro. I got to show y'all greatness, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Come on. Move. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Bro, look at look look at look at the stitching, bro. Look at the stitching. Look at the look at the Jordan logo. Like, come on. What are you kidding me? Do y'all see this stitching, bro? Bro, look at look at the three five, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. If they told me this jersey was in stores right now, I would believe them, bro. I would believe that this was a real jersey, bro. I would I would believe it, bro. But I ain't gonna lie though. <laughs> Jack. You God damn, KD, they done. they got KD down bad. But I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm gonna be honest. That's what he got going on. That's what he dealing with. You know what I mean? And they and they all they doing is scanning. And, and and trying to make the best iteration of their basketball game, but goddamn, goddamn KD, like like bro, I know I got I know I got fucking hair or all over my lip right now. Like look look at the hair on my lip, chat. I know I got hair on my motherfucking lip. I know that. But what they doing to KD is crazy, bro. He bro, every time he chew a burrito, bro, his hair follicles in there, bro. He eat hair every time he chew. It don't make sense. He probably eat hair when he talk. Just talking hair. <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> but look, 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 look. I appreciate y'all for watching. For sure. <laughs> I want to thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Hit that like button. Run this joint up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. For all my My Career players, man, does these ratings matter to you? Will it you know, uh, direct your decision on whatever blockbuster team you want to go to, or does it not matter to you? You just going to ball out because the story is all about you. All right. This is your boy, IKC signing out. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.